Welcome back everyone, Houston Math Prep here. In our previous video in this series, we talked about knowing that there must be some opposite operation of an exponential function, and we said that we're going to call that opposite operation of an exponential a logarithm. So here we have our definition for an exponential function, y equals some base to the x power. So notice our independent variable is in the exponent. Remember our base needs to be a positive number and it needs to not be one for it to fit all the criteria we need to have an exponential function. You can check out the details of that in our intro to exponential functions. So if we want to find the opposite operation for an exponential, basically find this function's inverse so it undoes what we do in this operation. So the first thing that we'll need to do is we'll need to swap where the x and y variables are in this equation and then once we've done that we can just solve for y to get a nice looking equation that will be our inverse. If we swap the variables then y equals b to the x becomes x equals b to the y and then the question becomes how do we solve for y, right? The big thing is, well, okay, that's great. There's this thing in the exponent and I'm trying to solve for it, but how do I get this y out of the exponent? If we don't know what a logarithm is, then we don't really know how to do this. And so we have this new operation we call a logarithm and it needs to have the same base as our exponential. So our logarithm base b is going to be the name of this new operation that's going to be the opposite of the operation exponential base b. And the way we'll write this, we'll write log and then we'll write a subscript b and then we'll have x inside of the log. So this logarithm base b is an operation that's going to happen to x and that operation is going to be the opposite of an exponential operation like b to the x. When we're trying to solve for something in an exponent, in other words, when the answer is an exponent in an exponential equation, then our answer is going to be a logarithm. The way that we'll read this statement log with a subscript b and then an x equals y, we will read this as log base b of x equals y. So we have exponential operations and we have logarithmic operations and these statements actually say the same thing. If we have x equals b to the y, that's the same as saying log base b of x equals y. If I want to know what y is, y is a logarithm base b. When we're solving for an exponent, our answer is going to be a logarithm. So these equations just say the same thing. They're just sort of said backwards or in an opposite way from one another. This one says x is b to the power of y, and the other one says what power of b gives us x. So we'll read log base b as what power of this base is this object here inside of the logarithm? And of course our answer is y. So if we're familiar with something that's an exponential form, something like 2 to the x equals 32, we want to know how does this look in a logarithmic form, right? There's another way to say this in log form, but it's not going to look just like this. So how do we get used to speaking log when we already know how to speak exponential? When we want to change forms, going either direction, so either from exponential form to logarithmic form or logarithm form to exponential form, the way we'll do that is to start at the base, we'll go across the equal sign and then back. That's the order that everything will appear in the other form. So for my exponential form here, if I start at the base, my base is 2, I go across the equal sign, 32, and then I come back across the equal sign, x, so 2 then 32 then x, that's the order that the objects will appear in the other form. So my logarithmic form will say log base 2 of 32 equals x, base then across then back, 2 then 32 then x. So log base 2 of 32 equals x is the logarithmic way to say 2 to the x equals 32. Let's work out some of these just changing exponentials to logarithms so we get the hang of this. This one says 7 to the x is 343 in exponential form. So remember I can start at the base and go across the equal sign and then back. So in logarithmic form, this equation will appear with 7, then 343, and then x. So my logarithmic form will be log base 7 of 343 equals x, and that will be my logarithmic form. Second one here, I have 5 to the t power equals 12. So I start at the base, I go across the equal sign and back. In logarithmic form, they will appear 5, then 12, then t. So it will be log base 5 of 12 equals t. So when we have an exponential, our answer is a logarithm. Here we have a to the x equals 20. If I start at the base here, I go across and back, 
a then 20 then x in my log form I will have log base a of 20 equals x remember that this is a subscript a this is not an exponential here a to the 20 that's not what we have a is the base of the log it's a subscript written below log and then 20 is inside of this operation that's log base a and so it is even with the log it's not an exponent so log base a of 20 equals x here m to the x equals r we start at the base we go across and back so for this one we would get log base m of r equals x let's go the other way this one may be even more beneficial at the beginning when you're starting to learn to speak log let's say you have a log and you're like oh, if I just saw this in exponential form maybe it would make a little bit more sense to me because I'm used to seeing things in that form already now we don't want to keep the training wheels on the bike forever but let's go ahead and practice converting to exponential so if we have y equals log base 3 of x and I want to change to exponential form remember I start at the base I go across the equal sign and back so where is my base here well my base is this subscript right so my base is 3 I go across the equal sign to the y and then I come back over to the x so start at the base go across then back so the exponential form of this is going to be 3 to the y equals x looking at this one here starting at the base going across the equal sign and back so log base 6 of 36 equals x will change to 6 to the x equals 36. And as you look at this here, when you're first getting started out with logs, you may not see it right away until you've done a lot of these. But maybe if you're able to rewrite it in this other form, you can kind of tell what x is just by looking at it maybe. If we look at log base 5 of 1 equals 0, we start at the base, we go across the equal sign, and then we go back. So that gives us the statement that 5 to the 0 equals 1. We know that's true, of course, right? Last one here, log base b of m equals n. My base is b. I start at that base. I go across the equal sign and back. Exponential form will tell us that b to the n equals m. Okay, that's our intro to logarithms, how to say them, how to write them, and how to convert back and forth between exponentials and logs. If you want to know more about logarithms, keep checking out our videos on logs. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you in the next video.